Hi, I'm Preston DeGuise. In this video, I'll show you how to do an image-based restore of a VMware virtual machine to a brand new VM using the Avamar HTML UI. We'll get started by logging on to the Avamar UI and going to Asset Management, where we can select the virtual machine that we want to recover. Once you're viewing the asset list, click the vCenter server the virtual machine you want to recover comes from. For this example, I'll recover the virtual machine Test06. Once the virtual machine has been selected, Avamar will offer actions such as an ad hoc backup and restore. To start the Restore Wizard, click the Restore button. The wizard starts by allowing you to choose which backup you want to recover from. In this case, I'm selecting a backup from a few days ago. Here I choose whether I want to perform a VM recovery, a VMDK recovery, or a file level recovery. If a virtual machine had multiple virtual disks attached, I could do a VMDK only recovery by selecting an individual VMDK. In this case, I'll click the disks checkbox and select all VMDKs. The destination drop-down lets me choose where and how I want to perform the recovery. I can do an overwrite by restoring to the original virtual machine. I can restore to an existing VM if desired, which is helpful if you want to recover an individual VMDK to an alternate VM. I can also restore to a new virtual machine or perform an instant access recovery. In this case, I'm going to recover to a new virtual machine. Here I choose what I want to have happen after the restore completes. I can leave the recovered virtual machine powered off. I can power on the virtual machine with its network interfaces enabled, or I can power on the virtual machine but leave its network interfaces disabled. Now I choose where I want to recover the virtual machine to, starting with the target vCenter server and typing in the new virtual machine name. Now I need to pick the data center, vSphere server and resource group the virtual machine will be created in. Now for each virtual disk that will be created, I choose which available data store the disk will be recovered to. In this case, I've only got one VMDK to recover anyway. Once I've allocated virtual disks to data stores, I'm ready to finish the wizard and start the recovery. Since this is just a lab server, I'll speed the recovery process up a bit. The recovery will show as running in the activity monitor until finished, and the window will regularly refresh. Once done, the activity monitor will show the recovery has been completed. Thanks for watching this video, and be sure to check out the blog for more details.